axillary artery. It is the main artery of the upper limb. It begins as the continuation of the subclavian artery from the upper border or the outer border of the first rib and it ends by becoming the brachial artery at the lower border of the teres major muscle. It crosses the axilla from apex to base by the anterior, posterior and lateral wall of axilla. It is divided into three parts by pectoralis minor muscle. During its course through the axilla, the axillary vein is medial to the artery and the cords of brachial plexus are arranged around the second part of the axillary artery. Coming to the parts, the axillary artery is divided into three parts by a pectoralis minor muscle. It becomes it begins from the coracoid process and to the thorax. So the three parts of the axillary artery, the first part, it is superior or proximal to the muscle. The second part is posterior or deep to the muscle and the third part is inferior or distal to the muscle. Now each part gives its following branches. Coming to the branches, the first part, the first part that is superior or proximal to the muscle, it gives one branch. The second part that is posterior or deep to the muscle gives two branches. And the third part that is inferior or distal to the muscle, it gives three parts. Now let's see the parts. This is the first part. It gives one branch that is superior thoracic artery. This is the first branch superior thoracic artery. In the second part it gives two branches one branch and second branch. The first branch is called as thoracoacromial artery. The second branch is the long or lateral thoracic artery. This is the third part of the axillary artery. It gives three branches. The first branch is posterior circumflex humeral artery. The second branch is the anterior circumflex humeral artery. This is the posterior and this is the anterior. And the third branch is subscapular artery. Subscapular artery also gives a small branch of artery known as circumflex capillary artery. Now let us learn about the other branches of the arteries and their relations. Now coming to the description about the branches. The first part and its branch that is the superior or supreme thoracic artery. It is a very small branch that arises near the subclavius muscle. It passes between the pectoralis major and minor muscles and it supplies these muscles and the medial wall of axilla medial wall of axilla and from the second part of the axillary artery the thoracoacromian artery it is the first branch it emerges at the upper border of pectoralis minor muscle it pierces the clav clavipectoral fascia and soon breaks into four branches this is the pectoral branch pectoral branch the second branch is the deltoid. The third part or branch is the acromial. And the fourth one is clavicular. The 
these are the branches of thoracoacromial artery the pectoral branch supplies the pectoralis minor muscle deltoid supplies the deltoid acromial arch it anastomoses over the acromion and the clavicular branch supplies the sternoclavicular joint and subclavius muscle now coming to the second branch of the second part the long or lateral thoracic artery it emerges and runs along the inferior border of pectoralis minor supplying the branches to pectoralis major and the minor muscles plus serratus anterior and the third part of the acromion coming to the third part of the axillary artery its branch subscapular artery it is the largest branch of the axillary artery that runs along the lower border of the subscapularis and it ends at the inferior angle of the scapula it gives a large branch called as circumflex scapular artery which winds round along the upper triangular intermuscular space now coming to the anterior circumflex humeral artery it is a small branch that passes in front of the surgical neck of the humerus and anastomoses with the posterior circumflex humeral artery these two anastomoses with each other now coming to the posterior circumflex humeral artery it is larger than the anterior circumflex humeral artery which passes along the axillary nerve through the quadrangular intermuscular space and crosses the posterior aspect of the surgical neck of humerus to anastomose with the anterior circumflex humeral artery now coming to the relation of the axillary artery now coming to the relations the relations of the first part of the axillary artery so let's think this is the anterior aspect this is the lateral medial and the posterior aspect on the anterior side the axillary artery the first part of the axillary artery is related to the loop of communication between medial and lateral pectoral nerves this is the loop of communication between the medial and lateral pectoral nerve and the pectoral major muscle this is the anterior relation of the first part coming to the medial relation it is related medially to the axillary vein this is the anterior relation these two and the posterior relation is by serratus anterior muscle long thoracic nerve and the medial cord of brachial plexus the lateral relation is by the lateral and posterior cord of the brachial plexus this is the lateral cord and the posterior cord of brachial plexus coming to the relations of the second part of the axillary artery the second part of the axillary artery on the anterior side is related to the pectoralis major muscle and the pectoralis minor muscle major and minor at the medial side 
it is related to the axillary vein this is the axillary vein and the medial cord of the brachial plexus these are the medial relations at the posterior aspect it is related to the posterior cord of brachial plexus this one and the subscapularis muscle on the lateral aspect it is related to the lateral cord of brachial plexus this one the third part of the axillary artery is related anteriorly to the medial root of the median nerve this is the anterior relation medially it is related to the axillary vein medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm median cutaneous nerve of the arm and the ulna nerve posteriorly it is related to the radial nerve to the axillary nerve these two and teres major muscle with subscapularis muscle on the lateral side the third part of the axillary artery is related to the musculocutaneous nerve 